The combat use of FPV drones in the Russia and Ukraine conflict is making headlines in all media, but in this video, I will try to call the ardor of those who want to become an FPV pilot at the front. I will use my personal experience and knowledge I got from FPV drone building and flying community to base my position. Due to the basic laws of physics, the quadcopter type of multicopter is a physically unstable system. This means that the failure of one of the motors or propellers means its immediate crash, which makes it extremely unreliable as a means of delivering a combat charge. Unlike the DJI products, this drones are low-cost handmade devices, which did not pass any quality control. Here you can see the manual assembling without quality control. This means that these devices can become malfunctions at an unpredictable point in time, which makes usage of the devices integrated with explosives. Not a good idea. The lack of standard ammunition forces drone operators to use improvised warhead designs what threatens their life and health. This engineering, with the help of blue-red electrical tape, probably took a few lives of its operators. На нахуй. Не взорвался. Блять. Сука. Сука Сука Пизда. не взорвался. I don't know this word. It is easy to find a demonstration of video transmission over long distances on the internet, but with these communication devices designed for hobbyists, you may quickly lose track of your drone behind nearby buildings. The following videos clearly demonstrate the failure of the video transmission at the most critical moment of attack. To bypass the weakness of radio equipment, the operators are using high-gain antennas mounted to the pole, while disclosing their location to their enemy. The first person view, FPV, involves mounting a small video camera to an RC aircraft and flying by using a live video downlink, commonly displayed on video goggles or a portable monitor. While the human eye has a FOV, field of view, of 200 degrees, the optimal FOV of the camera is set from 35 to 75 degrees. It means that after the pilot put an FPV googles on him, the pilot is not aware of its surrounding. Taking into account all mentioned, your situation as an FPV pilot is that, if you are not dead from the explosion of your DIY ammunition, your drone did not crash on your head, or the head of your second pilot. Probably you wouldn't be able to dodge effectively, and in time from the enemy fire, because your eyes are covered, and your hands are connected to the remote controller. I don't know this word. And one. This video, in which it took five quadrocopters to destroy a tank, gave me a desire to discuss the effectiveness of the multi-copter platform for conducting combat. And two. And three. And four. And five. Back to 2019. It all started when Ruby Liani, founder of the Israeli Drone Racing League, translated his passion to meet the balloon's threat in the Israeli-Gaza border. After making very few headlines, we never heard again about the use of the FPV drones at the Gaza border. According to this extend company introduction video, they are now working on AI features for FPV drones. And one.
and 2. This video demonstrates the perfect work of artillery, which is guided by a camera drone. And 3. And the waste of FPV quad for unnecessary attack. Tanks that cost over a million dollars are being taken out by cheap consumer-style drones. Like this one that cost a few hundred dollars. This statement has several incorrectness. The major one is that consumer drones can take out a tank. The warhead, which is tightened to the drone, causes damage to the tank, and an RPG grenade is the deadliest of them. So let us ask Google, what is the price for the RPG equipment? According to the site militarytoday.com, adding the FPV drones to the rocket or grenade increases the costs of the warhead by two to five times, not taking into account the remote control equipment for the drone. I mean, Rushnoi Prototankovoy Granatomot. By cheap consumer style drone. Another incorrectness of the statement is that it didn't mention a pilot of the drone, who manually controls the drone until it loses its functionality. The FPV pilot needs to have not only some of the skills of a Formula One pilot, but also the logistics which include command and control center, the logistic person, driver, second pilot, who is an engineer at the same time, internet communication, electric power supply, and GPS signal. And all this, to make that. I have a strong impression that while these soldiers preparing their kamikaze drone, that person will finish firing off all his ammo, and hide out safely of its position. As a taxpayer, I see these tactics of combat as more effective than those that involve cell phones. While the FPV pilots from both sides are demonstrating practices that should never be used, the FPV drones are providing remarkable videos from the front, which are being used for propaganda. Considering myself the member drone hobberist community, I presented to you this video to give a more realistic look from the inside at the use of FPV drones on the front lines. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.